12 of the world's most fascinating dams. This video focuses on the most fascinating dams across the globe. Let's check them out. Contra Dam, Switzerland. Contra Dam, or the Vazaska Dam in Ticino, Switzerland, is famous for its epic appearance in the opening scene of the James Bond movie, Goldeneye. The slender concrete arch dam is 220 meters high with a crest length of 380 meters. The dam's base is 28 meters wide and gradually tapers up to seven meters at the crest. Two spillways are found at either side of the structure, which has a maximum discharge capacity of 1,300 cubic meters per second. Contra Dam also produces power through its 105 megawatt power station, with three 35 megawatt Francis turbines that generates an average of 234 gigawatt hours per year. Gordon Dam, Australia. Located in southwest Tasmania in Australia, Gordon Dam is a double curvature concrete arch dam. One of its amazing features is that it's curved both in vertical and horizontal directions. That way, it can resist large hydraulic pressures coming from the 12 million 359,040 megalitres of water in Lake Gordon, the largest lake in Australia. The immense volume of water is diverted 183 metres to the underground power station, where three hydro turbines can generate up to 432 megawatts of power. Approximately 13% of Tasmania's electricity demand is provided by Gordon Power Station. Monticello Dam, USA. This 93 metre concrete arch dam in California is one of the coolest dams in the world because of its mesmerizing spillway called the Glory Hole. It can drain 48,400 cubic feet per second of water during the lake's peak level that occurs when the lake rises 4.7 metres above the spillway's lip. Monticello Dam impounds the Pewter Creek that can generate 56,806,000 kilowatt hours of power annually using two 5 megawatt and one 1.5 megawatt turbines. Hoover Dam, USA. Hoover Dam stretches between Nevada and Arizona. Originally called the Boulder Dam, this colossal structure stands at a height of 221.4 meters, with a base width of 200 meters and a crest width of 14 meters. The hydropower station houses various types of turbines, like one 61.5 megawatt Francis turbine and two 2.4 megawatt Pelton turbines, which produce an annual electrical output of 4.2 terawatt hours. One of the biggest preparations done for the construction of Hoover Dam was the diversion of Colorado River away from the site. To make this happen, four diversion tunnels were bored through the canyon walls, two on the Nevada side and two on the Arizona side. On the 1st of February 1935, a few years after the Colorado River was diverted, a steel gate was lowered down to allow the water to take its natural course again. That was the first time in history when the Colorado River was under the control of man. Three Gorges Dam, China. Known as the world's largest hydropower dam, the Three Gorges Dam stretches out 2.3 kilometers to span and impounds the Yangtze River in the Hubei province of China. Capable of producing 87 terawatt hours of electricity per annum, this hydropower dam uses 32 700 megawatts and two 50 megawatts of Francis turbines. Its structural profile is designed with a large base width of 115 meters and tapers to 40 meters at the crest. Besides electricity production, the dam was also constructed to increase the shipping capacity of the Yangtze River and mitigate the chances of flooding downstream by providing large water storage space. Fun fact, this dam is capable of slowing the Earth's rotation by shifting immense volume of water. Tabla Dam, Pakistan. Considered as the largest earth-filled dam in the world, the Tabla Dam impounds the Indus River to serve as irrigation supply, flood control, and to produce hydroelectric power. In order to properly divert the Indus River, the dam's construction developed in three stages, where large tunnels were constructed to act as diversion channels. The dam's main wall was built with earth and rock fill that spans 2,743.2 meters from the island to the right-hand side of the river. Two concrete auxiliary dams span the river from the island to the left-hand side. Equipped with 10 175 megawatt and four 432 megawatts of turbines, Tabla Dam can produce 14.959 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Almendra Dam, Spain. Almendra Dam is one of Spain's tallest structures. It's located in the province of Salamanca. The name of the dam translates to almond. Impounding the Tormes River, this concrete gravity arch dam is part of the hydroelectric system known as the Duero Drops. The system includes five dams from Spain and three dams nearby Portugal. Itaipu Dam, Brazil. 
This fascinating hydroelectric dam stretches 7,919 meters from Brazil to Paraguay, impounding the Parana River. The power output is at an average of 89.5 terawatt hours per year by using 20 700 megawatt Francis turbines. 10 of the turbines generate power for Paraguay, while the other 10 bring power to Brazil. The Itaipu Dam is actually a series of four dams, a concrete wing dam, a main concrete dam, a rock fill dam, and an earth fill dam. Mind-blowing fact about this dam is that the Guerra Falls, once known as the world's most amazing waterfalls, was submerged underwater when the Itaipu Reservoir was filled. The Guerra Falls stood twice the height of Niagara Falls and surged twice as much water. Ataturk Dam, Turkey. Located on the Euphrates River, the Ataturk Dam is the largest in Turkey and ranked sixth from the largest earthen rock field embankment dams in the world. It is the centerpiece of the 22 dams that exist on the Euphrates and the Tigris, which comprise the integrated sectors of the Southeastern Anatolia Project, or GAP in Turkish. The Ataturk Reservoir has a capacity of 48.7 cubic kilometers of water and equipped with eight 300 megawatt Francis turbines, which generate 8,900 gigawatt hours of electrical power per annum. Kariba Dam, Zimbabwe. One of the largest in Africa, the Kariba Dam supplies 1,626 megawatts of power to the copper belt parts of both Zambia and Zimbabwe. Impounding the Zambezi River, Kariba Dam is outfitted with 10 types of Francis turbines, capable of outputting an average of 6,400 gigawatt hours of electrical power per year. The dam was designed as a double curvature concrete arch dam to effectively resist the 180 cubic kilometers of water pressing against it. Because of the immense volume of water from the created Kariba Reservoir, over 6,000 animals had to be rescued by Operation Noah as the Kariba Gorge was flooded. Kerr Dam, USA. Designed for producing hydroelectricity, the Kerr Dam also serves as wildlife resources, forest conservation, and public recreational uses. By impounding the Flathead River, the dam is capable of producing 426 gigawatt hours of electricity per annum. It is one of two PPL Montana dams located west of the Continental Divide, where the Flathead River cascadingly empties into the Clark Fork River, which subsequently empties into the Columbia River. Finally, the Columbia River empties right into the Pacific Ocean. Garyep Dam, South Africa. The Garyep Dam was designed as a hybrid gravity arch dam because the gorge is too wide for a full arch. It impounds the Orange River and creates the Garyep Reservoir with a maximum capacity of 5,340,000 megalitres. 899 gigawatt hours of electrical power is produced by the dam annually using four 90 megawatt turbines.